Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Anyway versus Neri ESPN preview and prediction as um, Nyoya Anyway, the monster, uh, will be in the main event versus Luis Neri for the undisputed title at 122 uh, next Monday, May 6th, um, early in the morning from Japan. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So um, this one is a good one right here. Uh, anyway, uh, and Neri are in the main event. We'll talk about the couple fights that I know about on the undercard, and I really don't know much about them. I don't really follow 118 down. I know, I know a lot of the big names, the bigger names and stuff, but I don't really follow them. They're too uh, sporadic, if that makes sense. Um, they're not deep enough. So I usually follow 122 all the way to heavyweight, but I know Jason Maloney, who is a champion, who's been in the ring with anyway before, is fighting on the undercard. Um, and I know that, uh, yeah, Jason Maloney, and then I know uh, anyway's little brother, who's a champ at 118 now, is also fighting on the undercard. So, um, you know, you, you get to see them uh, on the undercard in two title fights. I think they're both going to beat their opponents and stay world champions. So not too much into detail. But, you know, the one that everybody's tuning in for is Anyway versus Neri for the Undisputed Super Bantamweight World Championship at 122 pounds. And it's a big fight. You should be tuned in for this one. Very big fight. Going to be very, very exciting between these two. A um, lot of people look uh, looking forward to this, this fight. I'm included in that bunch. Um, I think it's going to be a fucking fantastic battle right here between two, um, two, two bangers, you know, two guys that get in there and, and, um, you know, are, are savvy veterans as well. You got anyway, who's been, you know, he, he's, he's the undisputed champ at 122. He's been rolling through, um, his competition, you know, uh, and, and his last three fights have been monster fights. No pun intended to his nickname. Uh, he, you know, actually his last four fights, he destroyed, uh, Nonito Donaire in their rematch in 2022 to unify belts um, at 118. And then he followed that up with by destroying uh, Paul Butler to become the undisputed champ at 118. Then um, in his very first fight at 122 pounds, he takes on the number one guy in Stephen Fulton Jr. And a lot of people viewed that as a 50-50 fight, and he beat the shit out of Stephen Fulton Jr. Beat him down, impressively stopped him in eight rounds, and uh, captured the unified title there. And then in his last fight, he squared off against veteran Marlon Tapolis from the Philippines to become and, and, and dominated him, stopping him in 10 rounds to become the undisputed champion of the world at 122, marking him as only the second fighter uh, to unify all four belts and become an, an undisputed champion in two different weight classes uh, and he did it uh, five months after Terrence Crawford accomplished that feat um, and you know anyway is just rolling right now and he's hot and he doesn't want to take a step back so he's taking on one of his mandatories in Luis Neri who is a former two division world champion and he's coming off of what I feel was the fight of the year um, an impressive 11th round knockout win over Azat Hovanassian in a great action-packed fight. And I think he's crafty enough and a veteran enough is uh, is Neary to give problems to the monster. And um, But you never know because the monster has been rolling through people too much. He might make another very good fighter look average, you know, in this one. And I kind of think it's a cross between that. I could see Neary having success. But I could always also see anyway destroying Neri because he's that good. And I think he's also a smart fighter. I think he's gonna focus a lot on the body because that uh, Neri's lone defeat to Brandon Figueroa um, was based on body shots. So I think he's gonna have a healthy mix of attacking the head and the body. I think he's going to um, be cautious at first a little bit is anyway because Neri can catch you and knock you out. He proved that against Hovanassian, who had a great chin as well. He caught him flush with that left hand and um, and really hurt him 
and um, that's what led to the knockout win. So I think it's going to be an action-packed fight. I did do a breakdown video on this one. Go check it out. That one's uh, more in-depth. But all in all, this is going to be a good fight between these two for the undisputed title um, for uh, however long it lasts. And um, I got anyway by a knockout, though. In the middle rounds to later rounds, I can see that one happening. But for some reason, I do believe that uh, that Luis Neri is a live underdog. So we're going to see how it all shakes out next Monday on ESPN+. Plus. Um, anyway, and Neri, this is the preview and prediction video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.